What's up, Robin? How you doing? I like the way your dick swings. Oops, didn't mean that. Cut. I took four days off. Whew, I feel good. You need, you need one of those. A four days. A four day vacation. Oh, did you? You're sore from working out? From the hiatus. Yeah, you do. Compound movements. Come on, it's enough. It's enough. Robin, do you disagree or agree? What? Core is compound. Compound movements is core. Deload week. 2.30 on squat today. Took 2.55 last week. Um, hoping to end this block at around 2.72.5. That would be a nice, nasty little 35 kg PR. Um, so that's what we're going for today. The rest of the deload's looking pretty smooth. Hitting 290 tomorrow on deads. Uh, and then, fuck, like 135 on bench. Um, Thursday. So you guys will all see that stuff. We're going to warm up. We're going to get warm. Took some pre-workout. Enjoy the uh, video. Dave. Can you just stand where Nate is? <laughs> I just want to tell everybody how hard it is to frame Me? someone taller than 5'10". And it's so easy to frame, frame someone who's shorter than 5'10", like me or Dave. It's so easy to frame you, and it's not easy to frame you. I'm a giant. <laughs> Purebred Viking. <laughs> All right, it's a little of two reds. Just gonna pick up how heavy I'm breathing. You know what? This is a PSA, public service announcement, to wash your knee sleeves. If your knee sleeves are feeling very limber, wash them. It restores all the rigidity. Right now, these bitches tight. Gonna pick up how heavy I'm breathing. Yeah, holy cow, a lot. <laughs> Guys, I also made a jump recently that I haven't adapted to yet. I went from 105 to 120 in a matter of two weeks. My heart is feeling it. And my cardio respiratory endurance is not there yet. Pretty much eat, sleep, and sit on my computer all day long and I, I don't do endurance activity. So if I'm breathing heavy, it's not because I'm on trend, I'm not on trend. Mid physique vibes. Let's take a second. Just appreciate the craftsmanship. Can you see that? Wait a second. Can you see that shit? Brand new. With that weight change, my fat body had to go up a size. So we got a fresh, brand new, XL, SPD belt. We're feeling, we're feeling fantastic. Shit's stiff as a rock. The meet and greets. Can I get one of those? By the way, we're gonna be hosting a meet and greet barbecue and foot massage here at Apex Barbell Club, April 29th, 2 p.m. Uh, to 4 p.m. Come on down, support your local business. Is this real? Have a go. <laughs> what is this? Dave, is this something that Have I don't some know? Some burgers, some foot massage. So 21 days in April, or is that, a, or 29 days in April? There's 30. Fantastic. Is this real? No. Okay. <laughs> Jones barbecue and foot massage is real. If you have extra hot dog buns and burger buns. Well, yeah, that would be on there. a Monday. That would be on Monday, April the 29th. You guys show up here on Monday, April 29th. Free gym memberships all month long on Apex Barbell Club. If this gets any reach. Dave, is that real? Uh, yeah, what if this gets? I'm gonna, I'm gonna you're gonna what? He's gonna bill Nate directly. Okay. He's gonna bill you directly. All right. I will pay. All right. What is this? 175? 170. 170? Three reds. For three reps. <laughs> That's better.
Well, we'll keep the swears in, but then we'll keep your racist comments to a I minimum. Don't, I don't do racism. I'm the un most unracist white cisgender male known to, to this planet Earth. Are you squatting? Yeah. Okay, dope. You guys have to teach the no. you, you, What height are you? You're like a six. You're like a rack height six. <laughs> so that, that's why this is invented. This is why this You're is like a rack good. height six. No, I'm like, I'm this one, dude. I'm like 15. That's you can hop much. in. You have to warm up still? You, Just, you have to warm up still? Right okay. Let me hit my top set, and then you can work in with me. <laughs> you get, what, what if I start saying stuff under my breath? I'm like, I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Like, oh my god, he's, he's so annoying. <laughs> There's a nice pressure aspect to being on camera and squatting. Yeah, Having millions of people watch your videos. What? Okay, let's say millions. 15, When this 15 video gets guaranteed. 50 views on here. Yeah. I'll squat 600. It's a nice little added uh, pressure aspect, you know? You gotta train how you compete. A little bit of pr pressure manipulation. 200, we're gonna hit this first single. Jump to 220, then 230 top set. Should move nicely. Come on. Mm. 200 movement routine. Body set to flow. Relax your anus. <laughs> Open your taint. Relax. Listen, when you go to squat, open your taint. You're gonna wanna push your knees forward and open your taint. Make sure you get always warm up on the air bike. Adrian, where can they find you on social media if they ever wanted to find you? Plug your shit, brother. Uh, they can, you guys can follow me on AD, Adrian83KG. Is that on the Insta Slams? Ad Adwin, 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 and is that on the Instagrams? Yeah, that's on Instagram. Guys, give him a follow. And uh, soon to be every other platform. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the best mobility routine before you squat. All right, first thing you do, you go to the bathroom and you put your clothes on. Then you go outside and you go on the on the air bike. You do a moderate pace for five minutes. Then you go to a bench. And you do like four pigeons. And you just hold it until you feel good. Alright, no. <laughs> and, right. and then That's pretty solid advice. I thought I thought it was gonna be a little bit worse than that. But. You grab a, you try and grab a stick or something. <sighs> and you do a couch stretch. Come on. Alright. I'm gonna keep doing my stretch. We're gonna rebrand the best life. Oh, <laughs> oh, you can ask so bad. Oh my god. No, why why hasn't anyone opened a powerlifting gym just called Strong Life with the same fun? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Here we are. Dude, I wrote my new program. You wanna take a look at how it looks? Look at how advanced this looks. Alright, you do five There's by five drop downs. squat. Oh, nice. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. That's nice, eh? I don't know how yeah, to That's an addition. And then take a look at this bitch. A graph. Can they see how linear my Hold on, wait. Let me get in there. I'll, I'll focus on that. I can't see it. It's too bright. Too bright. Okay, but if you screenshot it, we'll, we'll throw it on there. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. We got it. That's my progression. There you go. Linear as a bitch. We should... Not actually. Robin just was saying, if you want to progress just... linear like myself, if contact... You wanna... Nate Taylor at apexbarbellclub.ca. If you want to progress for all your in a, personal training a line needs. that looks like this. Or online coaching. We do, a, we do everything around here. All right, a lot of people have been asking me what I do to get strong. Um, <laughs> usually every session, you know, I, I come in, I, I just try to add five pounds. And if I can add five pounds, I just do what I did last week or a little lighter. <laughs> or a little lighter. <laughs> And then, and then eventually, you know, I add five pounds and then I got a little stronger. So, and then you do that over and over and you get stronger. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up how simple and yet accurate what Adrian is saying. You gotta, you Michael, gotta move. How the, we doing, buddy? You gotta move the camera more. You can't just today. do the same angle. 
I have to deadlift. Hooray. We sticking with uh, conventional? Yep. So we got a new, um, a new technique for Michael. He's going to do some conventional. Are you okay being on camera and us filming you doing your conventional deadlifts? I fucking hate doing conventional deadlifts, so we're going to film every single bit of me hating my life. I hey. love that. Mike Riccio, hey, everybody. Are you going to let me work in? I have one more set. <laughs> I have one more top set, oh, okay. and then your, your shenanigans can ensue. Okay? Your 500 double or 505 double can ensue. That's what 505? I... 505? Is that what you're doing? I'm going to try and do that, but we'll see. 230? Yeah. For a double? Yeah. That's pretty good. What is that? 507 or Didn't you fail less? Last week? No. It's the last dance party. Nothing matters. <sighs> Gets me a little hyped up. We got to get a little hyped up here for top set. It's a deload week. I understand. But we got to be very intentional song with all of our top choice. sets. We got to treat them very similar. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Woo! Come on. for two. Little Miss Groovy. Top set. Accomplished. I'm on a rouse now. You gotta you have to help me now. None of those were depth. Your heels came up for every single rep. <laughs> That's not true, bro. This is not true. <laughs> Are you gonna go now? Tuesday. You want me to go? Yeah, go. I need three and a green. This guy's a fucking champ. He may be short, he may be skinny, but he's mediocrely strong. Should I join you, Michael? Glasses? Glasses on back off? Fourteen, Adrian? Yeah. Speed goggles? <laughs> if you can't put your sleeve on this quickly, then you gotta reevaluate some stuff. I said the exact same thing. I said the exact same thing. Stop using goblin straps to put up your Inzer Ergo Pros. You build for speed. It's, it's kind of too dark now. Let's go. It's fucking fast. It's too dark. I can't really see anything. <laughs> it is a little dark. This also. It's teaching people that a tall guy and a short guy, they can lift together, you know? You can share. Sharing is caring. Help me jack my jack up. Jack me off. Is that the correct terminology? Jack me off? <clears throat> yeah, but you forgot, you forgot to put this in the, the designated hole. That can stay in 14 if you're on 14. We're sagging. It'll take, him, what are you guys it'll take him five months of logging for him to get on the vlogs. And the bar is yours. Are you tripling 5.30 today? I don't know what I'm doing. 
Oh, two two for two. two. It's insane. Look who's arrived. Buddy, he walks in, camera on me. This guy walks in, he already's got shit to say. I love it. Welcome, Ian. Everybody, Mr. Sagan has entered the building, just as expected. I'm allowed to take four days off to start my deload. I golfed yesterday. If someone takes a four day break before deloading, you've already deloaded. That's not true. I was physically active yesterday. I golfed full 18. The Apex Barbell Club hosted a meet that I did everything for. I lifted all the weight in the U-Haul. I lifted all of it out, all the racks, set everything up. I had no help. Everybody else here, everybody here was so fucking unhelpful to me. So I need a four day rest. I think that's justified. Do you actually think that if I took four days off, that serves as a deload? Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. no, there's no load. That's, that's less. That's so fucked up. Ian just called me a hobbyist. My feelings are very hurt. Copious amounts of cope. I think it's justified. My coach, my coach made me do it. To vlog. You don't want to be. <laughs> no, it's just supposed to show like. Is this supposed to be what? Wait, wait. What the fuck did he say? Ian just said this is supposed to be impressive with a question mark. You'd think he had at least load four reds minimum. I did load four reds. Dude, this guy takes three days and then he only loads 190. I loaded. And you're gonna vlog that? That's crazy. This yeah, vlog no, this, is talking shit. This is shit. what we gotta do, actually. You're acting like <laughs> you're gonna have that 120 deadlift record forever. Wow, cool. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm signing up for a meet, and I'm only gonna pull. Break's almost over, baby. Break's almost over. Mike. Well, you can't, you can't deadlift there, man. You're in my vlog. Get the fuck out of my vlog, bro. Can we get a camera angle on Mr. Mike Riccio? He's been chirping me for the last 10 minutes, saying he's got weight on the bar. Oh, I thought you were filming me. How much is on the bar, Mike? Well, I just started warming up. Can we, can we just ask Adrian how his top Shut set went last week at 495 on high bar? How did it go, Adrian? Did you hit it? I'm supposed to do this. Man. You literally told me the day of. You said you would dummy it in the chat. Well, That's actually, we'll, we'll, put the, we'll put the clip in the chat, okay? Because I have a screenshot of him I'm saying he would yeah. dummy it. Because he sent me the old fail that when I spotted him a year ago. He goes, I'll squat five foot tie bar. That's it. I got some accessory bench. It's not going to be too entertaining. Um, oh, Ian kind of pointed out a, uh, that single I don't today. lift that heavy. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys want to watch or, or not. I mean, you guys can watch if you guys want to watch, but like, I'm not going to force you to watch. We'll roll a clip. We'll run, roll one singular clip. Nate's all the way over there benching. All the way over there by his lonesome. That's okay though. We got Adrian taking, how many kilos is this Adrian? 215. 215 kilos, let's go Adrian, come on. Go ahead, let it settle, come on. Fantastic execution, but did you see how I was fucking down? Down, arms out, ready to spot. Okay, I have a question for Nate. Okay, do you think as a coach, it's important to work with a coach? I think it's super important that as a coach, you do work with a coach. I mean, um, everybody needs help. Everybody needs advice. Everybody needs guidance. Okay, so right. to cap off this question, Nate, do you have a coach? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wait, don't give. I had two I mics. Okay, I'm gonna search your deadlift this on the floor.
<laughs> hey, no dropping weights. You do it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get in there. Get in there. And then just pick it up from there. That's what I. That's it. Now watch. The Wait, don't you have to do a PR squat soon? No, this is just. Okay, this is a this is an esoteric uh, lifter knowledge that a lot of people don't know about. Okay. <laughs> if you superset. <laughs> Before your top set, you do a you do an odd lift. You do an odd lift superset, and it's gonna prime your it's gonna prime your uh, testosterone, and it's gonna <laughs> and you'll you're gonna be primed for your lift. <laughs> so a great example of this would be the Zercher deadlift. Okay, but I'm actually not gonna do it because I don't need that right now today. How many ops are you opposing? How many ops? How many ops you got right now? This one's for all the ops. <laughs> for all the girls that left me on red on that Tinder dating app. So Mike's kind of a half power lifter, half bodybuilder. As you can see, he's wearing a Gymshark stringer to work out today. He's got big traps, so it works. That's it, it works. Come on, get tight. He did it. We all had faith. What the fuck is that? You know what LeBron does that? No. <laughs> LeBron? Yeah. Day two of the deload. Deadlifts. Versa grips on. Let me preface. Let me see if you can see. Can you see? Can they see? How, yeah, they can. How thick that bitch is compared to that guy? It's a thick bitch. My thumbs are OC, out of commission. Um, I'm gonna put a uh, 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 cope alarm around that. Cope alarm, okay. It's called the cope alarm. I'll take it for now, all right, for now. But yeah, day two, deload. We're up to like 290. What are you laughing at me for? We got a new person on board. We got wow. uh, Mr. Joe, Joey, uh, here. We're gonna be working in on the same bar. So how many more sets do you have left? We're gonna be using probably around the same weight. I wanna switch the bar, that's Having why. to strip the bar every set for Adrian here. Oh, yeah. But that's okay, we share, we're inclusive. Yeah, oh, yeah. How are you doing? Good, man, how are you? Good, bro, what are we working up today? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, should be spicy, stay tuned. You know you're right in front of the camera, right? You were definitely in the frame. This is where you were. You belt up for three plates, Joe? Yeah. You don't? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, four. Yeah, I'll go like this. So what are you gonna do? One, two. 250, 290. Adrian, did you hear what he said? What? He was like, I hate how when the first come out, everybody just makes fun of me. I was like, what do y'all make fun of you? We still do. Yeah, we still do that. Sweet Jesus. Oh, no. It'll do. Hey guys, I got to use a different platform because I'm from the WRPF. So we got to use this deadlift bar uh, while well, they use a power bar. Uh, I'm doing RP9 pause. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be because we gotta figure out how my thumbs feel. I've been doing hook grip for two months now. It feels pretty good. Insert cope, 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 cope alarm. Just be high. No, I, did, I didn't actually. I can milk it, but I also don't want to go like 10, 10 because I also want to pull up something big that week. Yeah. I might have to take a day off yeah. in between. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what's kind of been not killing the deadlift, but it's like. Going well, back to back, back comp back. squat, comp there. Also, appropriately <laughs> ready for. 
score. Nice. Six. Very good. Can you pull it for one or anything? I think so. I think it's going to be good. Easy. Very easy. He's just... I did. I tried to do it for two reps, but it didn't work. Is that top set? No. All right, let's see how this moves. 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 40 kg jump after this? Probably. That's scary, man. She, she has to pick up a lot of dead bodies. Yeah, she does. That's, Truly. She has to pick up dead bodies. Is this is this vlog gonna be a different vlog because it's a different day or is it gonna be one, two two and one? Two and one. I should have worn the same outfit then. Has it been half an hour yet? No, it's still recording. Don't worry, man. Get the keys dry first. That's so fucking soon. Come on. It is. Fits you well. Shirt. Shirt's off. Me? Yeah. No. You, you never wear tight arms and tight collar shirts. Clothes make the man, Robin. Yeah. Man, two men makes the clothes. Fly arm hurts. I'm going to go up. You have to do this? Me? No. I'm going to go up. Hey guys. Oh no, get this, get this out of here. Red, red, what the hell? Red, red, red. We just kicked that ass. Red, what the fuck was that? Did it break? Yeah, but don't do that. This guy, like a child. This guy is insane. Very good. Okay, so yeah, I'm taking 280 instead of 290. 290 was ambitious. I paused this for five on Friday, and I'm not recovered, especially from yesterday's squat. So 280 it is. <laughs> It. Done. Okay. Rate that for me on a scale of one to ten. I'm gonna watch the video right now. You gonna watch the video right now? It felt We're watch it together. fine. It felt fine. It felt good. It felt as it should. Let's see. Let's see. Real time. Real time. Real speed. Not bad. Not bad. What would you rate that on a scale of one to ten? Scale of one to ten for execution wise, we go on RPE. Yeah. RIR. Rep. RPE. 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 I'd, I'd give it like a. Six and a half. Now, do you think, in your honest opinion, it would be super helpful to have a coach to bounce these ideas off of? Absolutely. Oh, interesting. Thanks, that's all.
what's that perpetual motion shit? That's true. Yes. Ooh, baby. Deadlift doctor himself. Big, big deadlift Nate Taylor. Excellent. 700 a guy. Maxi. Shout out to Stu for giving me. Where am I supposed to be positioned? Am I, where am I in frame? This is so hard. I feel so cringy. Well, I want to put it down because I don't like it when it's on me when I'm lifting. So I'm going to talk into it and I put it down. Because like when I like brace, I can feel it like. Um, does that look weird though? Yep. Looks awful. Well, it's this and then like. All right, fine. <laughs> I'm not that sad about being a talk show host. I have to do one set of six now. It's just the thumbs, really. Good, though. Yes. All right, day three. We've got pause squats, competition bench. We're for a uh, deload single on bench, say, probably around 130 kilo. Walk in front of my shop again, Adrian, find out. Pause the squat to start off a day, followed by competition bench. I think I'm gonna load up somewhere around 127.5 or something like that on bench. Just a deload single, try and keep it really light today to start next block nice and fresh. Gonna load up probably around 187, 190 kg for pause squats now. Uh, we'll do that for three sets and then um, hop on the bench. Well, he's hanging shoes, I have a uh... It's my last day. You missed my first two because I was scared of recording by myself and he wasn't here. Um, I, <laughs> yeah, 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 no. The first day, the microphones were actually dead. The second day, I just forgot. Um, I have a slingshot bench today. I have an RP9 slingshot bench, um, also known as meme bench. So we'll see what's going on. Reason did yes. not feel as good as previous weeks. But it's deload, so you gotta roll with the punches. Uh, I'm gonna do two reds with the slingshot, it'll be easy peasy for a single. Hopefully, my back doesn't round.
Oh, that's all right. You are. So I did my top set, feel my third rep. Um, uh, uh, Stu was saying that uh, I was losing grip in my hands and that's been a constant thing for me. And it's because sometimes when I get too amped up, I actually wrap my wrist a little bit too tight. Cause me to lose feeling in my hands. So I gotta remember I'm not so tight on the wrist wraps. I can feel my hands more. And then um, that'd probably give me better connectivity and get me up to press more. I uh, gotta go pick up my son. Nate's gonna continue on with the vlog. Nate, you are in charge of this. Nate, Nate, you're in charge of this now. You gotta keep it going for today until I return. All right, so just finishing up bench here. I've got my last set. Um, what was this 110 kilo? Yeah. Hitting this for three, comfortable six RP. Kind of overshot my top set today at 130. I probably should have took 127, five, 125. But uh, I hit a good one, a solid 140 last week, which is an all-time PR. So I was feeling kind of gassed up about myself, and realistically, I should have kind of put the brakes on. But that's okay. Uh, don't think it will be too affected leading into week one next week. Uh, but yeah, let's get this deload over with. And out of the rack. And I just kind of keep that upper back tightness throughout the duration of the set. That moves really well. I think I, uh, I've had a battle with confidence on bench for sure. Um, just not progressing as fast as my other lifts, especially for a heavier guy, a 120 kg. Benching these kind of numbers is on uh, the very low end. So kind of just trying to do my diligence with this uh, and stick with something that works. I took the last like, geez, I think first two months of this block, like playing with my hand position, um, playing with my back setup. One thing that I really, really helped me, um, especially with my upper back tightness, was using the slingshot. And I think what I was doing before was maybe over cueing, scapular retraction and depression. You don't need a whole, whole lot of it or an overemphasis of it, should I say. Um, using a slingshot, essentially brought my arms forward when you put the thing on. So just to get into a natural position, you have to bring your chest through. And I think just that movement kind of taught me the appropriate amount of upper back tightness. Uh, so it, it worked for me. It's definitely a great tool that I use um, or that helped me kind of progress my bench press. But that's it, that wraps up the deload. Um, all the comp lists are done. We did a one, uh, no, a 2.30 squat on Monday. We did a 2.80 deadlift on Tuesday. Uh, and then today we did 
130 bench, which is pretty comfortable for a deload. But the next four weeks are going to be something else, or three weeks, um, because we're going to go for some pretty big numbers. Not going to say what they are. You guys don't need to know what they are. Um, hopefully, I can just bring that to fruition.